Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of December 28th through January 3rd. Now keep in mind the timing is still fluid, and not every reading is for you. So let's just see what comes up for Capricorn. Let's start right here for an overall energy, for a message from the universe, you could say. What do we have for Capricorn? What do you want Capricorn to know? One card, please. Justice. Justice. So justice is all about karma. It's about karma. It's about getting what you deserve. So another week of justice being served. Okay. Uh, balancing. Okay. It's like this is balancing the laws of karma. So there's going to be some karma served this week that uh, is needed. Okay. It's needed to bring you into balance. It could be good. It could be bad. There's two sides to every situation. So, uh, the overall energy is justice, truth, and karma. So that is what this week is about. What do we have for Capricorn? Truth, justice, karma, consequences perhaps with the justice card, good or bad, okay, it's the laws of karma in full effect with that justice card, and that's what has been going on for you, and things don't just change overnight, vulture, Depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. Crown, honor, and respect will come to you. Great. So honor and respect is going to come to you. Balance is being restored. There's consequences for some sort of actions. Good or bad. Things are about to even out, okay? You are probably worried that someone is against you, which is obvious. But you're going to be gaining some sort of honor and respect. So whatever is happening, the law, this is the karmic law or the universal law or the, you know, manly law, you know, um is seeing right through a situation. There's there's some sort of justice going to be served. Alright. Truth. What do we have for Capricorn? What do we have for Capricorn? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Be honest and upfront. Okay. Something this may there may be something to do with a contract here. Somebody may be signing a contract, ending a contract. Ace of Wands reversed. Going south. Somebody's going south. Something is going south, not coming to fruition. There could be a lack of growth somewhere. Now, this is being put out as well. So, let's say somebody's fire is being put out. And I hate to say that, but with the Ace of Wands reversed, is something not materializing. Somebody may be weighed down by a contract, weighed down by karma. Maybe it's a karmic contract. I don't know. This is weighed down. Everything is going to turn out as it should. A 
three. Um, three of cups. Now this is abundance, celebrating, having fun, socializing, maybe meeting some new people. Some of you could be meeting some new people. Or maybe even a dating. You know, this is dating. This could be like a dating site, socializing. Um, hmm. Ooh, the devil. So you're here. So there's some sort of temptation here. There's some sort of lust, uh, greed, temptation. Somebody is tempted. They're tempted to do something. Now they're now. You got to be careful when you get the when you get the justice card and the ace of wands. Something may not last something may not last somebody may be tempted these are kind of both sexual energies so just just be careful somebody may be somebody may all is not as it seems somebody may um not be seeing something clearly there's a lack of vision some sort of truth is going to come out um i don't know if there's been some so something has been hidden with the devil card somebody's been hiding something maybe it's a third party doesn't have to be um, but there's a need to break free. Somebody is tied to something. Could be an addiction. It could be a We could have a drinking problem here. Okay, this is an addiction. This could be a drinking problem. Overdoing it. Somebody may have a drinking problem. Doesn't have to be. There could be a many other addictions. But this is a codependency. Somebody is tied to something that is not as it seems, and they need to break free. And when they do break free. That's when honor and respect comes. Right now you have to break free from something that you are codependent on and you will be honored and respected for doing so. It's going to take you being honest and upfront and making a decision. And it's the final decision. You think about the justice system when they make the judgment call or the, the decision. It's a final decision. So this is a decision. Some of you are, uh, or somebody could be, could doesn't even have to be you. It could be somebody in the legal system that is making a decision. You know, there's a decision that is being made in the very near future. And I think that it has to do with breaking free from a toxic situation that you have been uh, slave to. Okay, you have been slave to this situation, and it's like a third party. Okay. It's a third party. And a third party could doesn't have to be a person. It can be. Okay? But it can be an addiction. Okay? It's been affecting your happiness. Put it that way. It's been affecting your growth. A lack of ambition. A lack of drive. A lack of desire. Not going in the right direction. Somebody's been going in the wrong direction. Staying tied to an unhealthy situation. Queen of Wands reverse. Yeah, I don't know if you're dealing with a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be, but this is a lack of confidence, a lack of self esteem, a very forceful energy, manipulation. We could have another another person here, another woman for some of you. This is somebody who lacks, uh, I don't know, I hate to say it, uh, but I'm going to, morals. Wants attention. We have an attention-seeking individual here that doesn't care about anything but getting attention <laughs> you know just a, somebody a needy very needy individual this is somebody that is very needy selfish it's another it's another woman or another man that's what it is queen of wands reversed and there's no Passion. There's a lack of passion or there's a lack of growth. There's a lack of creativity. I 
Somebody is being weighed down. They need to find their strength in their confidence. There's a lack of confidence. There is. There's a need for a change, okay? There's a need for some repeating negative patterns. You need to stop repeating your negative patterns. Don't let people hold you down. Maybe, the, I don't know if you've been mistreated by somebody. That's what it looks like. Queen of Wands reversed. Self-righteous, revengeful energy. Very controlling as well. We also have poor health. The emperor reversed. May have something to do with a father. There could be somebody that is having a hard time doing the right thing, you know, because of a father figure. Or because of their status, you know, this is somebody that is corrupt. Maybe somebody has deserted you in the time of need. Maybe they've deserted you for another person, you know, a third party. I don't know if that's the case, but that's what it looks like. I mean, the Emperor Reversed is uh, very, very controlling energy here. So we have somebody here who wants to be in control, you know, really wants to be in control. You are very, very control, control, control. So somebody really, really needs to let go of their need to control. Very controlling individual. We also have um, self-righteousness too. Somebody here is very, very self-righteous, disorganized. I don't know if there's some disorderly conduct or lies. You could be dealing with a liar, so you need to be careful. You could be dealing with somebody that is revengeful and lies, you know, um, because they want to hurt you. Be careful. If, I was, if you are in a situation with somebody that is vindictive and revengeful, I suggest you get out of it right now. The law could get involved and they may lie. Anyhow, with this emperor reverse, that's not taking responsibility. There could be some criminal activity. Somebody, there could be somebody that is is abusing you for their own needs. You know, somebody that that really is is very very needy, and there's some sort of abuse here. We we could even have a narcissist with the emperor or a tyrant. And there's some sort of anger here. Definitely angry. I feel like somebody's going to get angry. There probably is somebody that is against you. It could be an enemy disguised as a friend. This is an enemy. This is a friend. An enemy disguised as a friend. You do have an enemy disguised as a friend, Taurus. Or did I say Taurus? Maybe it's a fucking Taurus. It could be an Aries. Could be a Leo or a Sagittarius as well. Could somebody that you are tied to. Could be another Capricorn. Could be a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You have an enemy disguised as a friend. That is exactly what this is. And I got chills. I got goosebumps on both of my arms. So that is an absolute yes. You have an enemy disguised as a friend. So beware, all is not as it seems. I'll just put it like that. Um. Hmm. Everything is going to turn out as it should, okay? But... I do believe that there is some sort of truth, some sort of justice is going to be served this week. Oh my fucking God. Some oh, curl. Justice again. Karma. Nobody has access to my printer. My printer is starting to print. It hasn't printed in four or five days. 
The only person that has access to my printer is me through my computer. So I'm not sure if there's, there's something that is going to, I don't even know what comes up on a printer. What do people print? Um, news. I don't know if something's going to be on the news or you're going to read something or there's going to be some sort of contract because this is a contract. Um, nothing's printing. The printer just start, seemed to start up again. Very odd. Something is starting up again. Something is about to start up again. Um, justice again. Oh my God. So anyway, get prepared for some, I don't know if there's news of legalities. There could definitely be news of legalities, the law, uh, getting what you deserve. This is absolutely a week of karma. Okay. It's a week of karma, justice, balancing out the scales. For some of you, there's going to be a celebration. Okay. For some of you, it won't be for everybody. Okay. Obviously it's not going to be. Okay, I feel like there there is going to be an upcoming celebration for some of you, not everybody. Um, there is going to be a decision that is made. It's going to impact your uh, life, obviously. May have something to do with a father, um, or if you're a father, you know, may have somebody's been extremely controlling. They've been extremely controlling. They've they've really tried to act revengeful. They've been manipulative. They've lied. There's been, there's definitely some lies here. Okay, the lies. Somebody's about to pay for their lies. Um, there's some there's some materialism here. There's materialism. We have somebody here that may feel like they are above the law. Maybe they've done something corrupt or they, uh, I don't know what they've done. It feels like they have, it feels like they've broken the law. Somebody has broken the, whether it's a universal law or whatever. They, they've done something out of greed and selfishness and they're about to pay. I hate this. I mean, I hate to say it. You get justice twice. Everything is going to turn out the way it should. The laws of karma sees straight through every situation. Okay? Um, you may have been deserted. You may have been deserted by somebody because of another person, because of jealousy even. There could be some jealousy here. Abundance is coming as soon as you break free from this codependent situation. You must break free. It's toxic. It's unhealthy. You need, and there's been a lack of strength. There's been a lack of uh, ability, okay? Somebody hasn't found their ambition or their drive or their confidence or their strength or their willpower or their determination to break free. And it's gotten out of control. So something has gotten out of control. I feel like there could be some sort of anger that comes into play this week. Somebody could get really, really angry. I don't know if the law gets called. Mm. With that Ace of Wands reverse, this is going, something is going down for sure. Something is about to go down. Okay? Something is about to go down because that Ace of Wands is going reversed. Okay, it's going down. It's not going up. It's going down. Um... Oh my God. A five of wands. It says strife. A fight. There's going to be a fight. There's going to be a battle. It's, it, there is. Getting burned. So this week, uh, there's going to be a battle. There is, there is, there is. There's going to be a fight of some sort that, because uh, a fight, it's, it's a fight. I think you're dealing with somebody that um, you've been struggling with, you've really been struggling. You've been struggling to, uh, let go of, 
by the looks of things because you've been tied to them. I think you're dealing with an extremely competitive person. I feel like you, you need to be prepared. You really, 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 really need to pay, be prepared. Okay? It feels like there's some sort of... Uh, you got an enemy that is disguised as a friend and they may burn you in a way that you didn't see. You didn't see it coming. It was, it was you didn't see it. Um, oh God, the tower is on the bottom. I should, this isn't reversed. doesn't matter. It means you've avoided this. You can't avoid it anymore. You may have been able to avoid it up until now. Okay, but you can't avoid it anymore. This is extremes in a big, big, huge fight or a permanent loss, a painful change that you never saw coming. There could be some extreme health problems, could be a big, huge fight. This is a huge uproar. I mean, I really feel for some of you, this has to do with, um, I don't know, hopefully the law doesn't, I mean, the law could get involved, you know, the government or whatever. Um, we definitely have a power hungry individual here that wants to, uh, it feels like they want to fight with you for some reason. Um, whatever is happening this week, it is very much karmic, uh, energy. It's karmic, it's karmic payback for maybe I don't know if it has to do with a past life or something you did in this life it could be good or bad it could be good or bad some there's always a winner and there's always a loser there's two sides to every situation okay truth this is all about the truth okay truth and truth so we definitely have some truth coming out okay um in regards to an individual that does not have your back this person does not have your back at all at all You may be making a final decision to sever ties. You may be making a final to end it because you think once this all burns, it's over. It's the last straw. It's like it's what's done. Okay, it's final. So this could be a final, final decision with justice twice. Um, now with the tower, this this may have something to do with a home. Okay, this may have something to do with a home or. Um, this is explosive energy that has been avoided. It cannot be avoided anymore. Okay? It's time. It's time to start with a clean slate. It's a necessary evil that has been avoided. So this is an event that has been avoided. There's been some sort of false pretenses or falseness. Somebody may have been pretending that everything was stable or that, you know, that everything was okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. And now things are about to blow up. And they're going to blow up in a very immense way. Could also be dealing with a Libra. We have Libra, Aries, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, another Capricorn, and a Taurus. Because I, and a Scorpio. We have Scorpio here as well. Um, I feel like it's going to be a week of change. It's going to be a week of conflict. And it's going to be a week of justice. Something has been hidden. Somebody's who they truly are has been false. Because you think about the shadow, it's been false. And you are about to see somebody's true colors. Somebody's going to say something to cause a problem. This person that gets involved, this person that gets involved that, uh, you know, karma never loses an address. So remember that. I mean, we've got karma up here. This may be your karma. This may be theirs. So people that do that kind of stuff, 
end up getting theirs as well. There's two sides to every situation. So remember that. This may be karma for you, but it's also karma for them. So keep that in mind. There is going to be a permanent loss here. Okay, I think we have a very vindictive individual that is probably highly competitive that is trying to cause a fight. Or is causing a fight. Whatever is happening, the honor and respect is going to come to you. Okay, honor and respect is going to come to you. You're going to have to find your strength. To overcome whatever hurdle this is. This is a hurdle. With another person. Who doesn't like you. But pretends that they do. Good luck.